Good day, Great Tens, and welcome to week 13. Today we're going to be introducing you to functions. So what is a function? Let us look at this graph here, well this equation here. It says y is equal to 3x plus 5. And they've asked us to complete the following table. Now the reason we're doing this is because we need to get an idea of what a function is. I'm going to use a black pen. So it says, if we get given that x is minus 2, what is y? So 3 times by minus 2 plus 5 is going to be minus 6 plus 5 which equals minus 1. If that is supposed to be a 1, if x is minus 1 then you've got 3 to the minus 1 plus 5 which is going to be minus 3 plus 5 which is 2. If x is naught, you've got 3 times naught is naught plus 5 therefore it is just the answer of 5. And if x is 2, you've got 3 times by 2 plus 5, which equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5 is 11. So do you see that what we have here is we have a relationship between y and 3x plus 5, or a relationship between y and x, where if we take x, we multiply it by 3 and add 5, we will get y. So as x changes, so y changes, and x is what is called the independent variable. In other words, that's the one that we change, whereas y is the dependent variable. So this is what a function is. A function is something which relates two variables, a y and a x, where the one is independent. In other words, that is the one that changes, and the other one is dependent, and it depends depends on what's happening here as to how that changes. Let's look at a couple of functions. The formal definition of a function is that for every x value there is one and only one y value. So if for example you're looking at a straight line, these are different types of functions, a polynomial, a Gaussian, a Lorentzian, exponential graph, double exponential, a sine graph, a Hill equation, power, all these things you may or may not come across while you are doing your matric, up to matric, but you will definitely, if you're going to be doing some further studies, you will come across even more of these graphs. So what does it say? It says for every x value there is one and only one y value. So what does that really mean? That means that if I took, let's for example take the circle and I took a circle and I put a ruler across it. Do you see that the ruler crosses the circle there and there? That means for this x value, whatever it may be, we've got two y values. We've got that one over there and that one over there. Similarly, if I look over here at this x value, do you see that the straight line going through here will cross the graph over here and over here. So for that one x value I've got two y values. Therefore a circle is not a function. Not a function. Now let's look at, go back to those examples that we looked. If we take our ruler and we look at our straight line we can see that we'd only cross the straight line once, our exponential graph we'd only cross it once, our sigmoid we'd only cross it once. So that is those there are definitely functions, okay, for every x value there's only one y value. And let's look at these again, if you see uh, Gaussian, if I bring my ruler across vertically, it only crosses at once, cross it at once, cross it once. This is why these are all functions, because for every x value there is one and only one y value. Right, grade 10, that is a very basic introduction to functions. We will continue with functions in the next lesson. Please make sure you understand the definition of a function before you continue. Have a lovely day.